Hello everybody, Nurse Lindsay here, and today I wanna do a quick video about dialysate baths. What dialysate baths should they be on? And if you are new to my channel, haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button below so you can stay up to date on all the new videos I post about dialysis education and dialysis nursing community. If you haven't heard about the rule of seven, get ready to have your mind blown. And I've got a visual for you. Rule of seven is patient's potassium plus the dialysate bath should equal around seven. And when I say dialysate bath, I mean specifically how much potassium should be in the dialysate bath. So to put it another way, seven minus the patient's potassium will equal what their dialysis bath should be. This is a good rule in the clinic for our long-term patients. In the hospital, you might see that the physicians are a little more conservative and you might see more 3k baths than 2k because they're a little more unstable and they might be a little more sensitive cardiac wise to the 2k bath if you do see someone on a one potassium bath usually it's for a one-time treatment or maybe you're in the acutes and you're doing an emergent treatment for a high potassium and even then it's been my experience that if i start them on a 1k bath you will check their potassium an hour 90 minutes into treatment and then reassess what their bath should be a lot of the research out there says that a patient should not be on a 1k bath long term and what i mean by that is if they're on a 1k bath it should be on for a one dialysis treatment they should not have an order for a one potassium bath for their chronic dialysis treatments for every dialysis treatment and this is definitely a cms guideline too a lot of the research says that the 1k baths will increase a patient's risk of having a cardiac event and that's where you really have to be mindful of the potassium level where if the patient's potassium level goes too high they're at high risk of having a cardiac event and the same is if it goes too low so those 1k baths will raise that person's risk of having a cardiac event because that bath will drop the potassium too low so here is an example seven minus the patient's potassium will equal their dialysate bath so if the patient's potassium is five, you would expect them to be on a, around a two potassium bath. If their serum potassium level is four, seven minus four is three, you'd expect them to be around a three potassium bath. This is just a general rule. Some physicians might be a little more conservative, especially with the elderly community and the elderly community with a cardiac history. If they have a history of AFib or any kind of cardiac arrhythmia, usually those patients will keep them on a three potassium bath to help kind of prevent their potassium from dropping too low. So I'm gonna put this another way. If our patient's potassium is five, what should their dialysate bath be to equal seven? So five plus two equals seven. If they had a potassium of five and they were on a 3K bath, that means the same equals eight. So that might be too high of a bath for them. And you might wanna to talk to the physician about lowering their, their dialysate bath. So when I do talk to the physician, I might talk to them like this patient, their potassium has been running around five, 5.2. They're on a three potassium bath. Do you think that we should go to a two potassium bath? And they might say, yep, change them to a 2K bath. Or they might give me an answer like, well, you know, this person has AFib, they're 82 years old. I wanna keep them on a three potassium bath. And that's just a conversation that you have to have with the physician. I, there might be some facilities out there that have a sliding scale potassium policy that you can find and you can change the potassium bath based on the sliding scale. My clinic does not do that. If your clinic does that, put a comment below. I'm interested to hear how that works in your clinic. And that's pretty much the rule of seven. Seven minus the patient's potassium should equal about what their potassium level should be in the dialysate bath. And that's my quick take on the rule of seven. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to talk to you guys again. I am having so much fun with this YouTube channel and I hope you are too.